Welcome back, villagers, to another episode of Hugh Tran, the insurance man. Fanny and Letitia, I'm going to expose you today. Let's take a look at this. Because video. they deserve a DA that won't have sex with his employees. Because they deserve a DA that won't put money in their own pocket when it should go to benefit children. Because we deserve better. Wow. So everything she stated, she did. She banged her employees and lied about it under oath. So if you guys don't know, when you lie under oath, what happened? Well, technically, that's a crime and it can become a felony. When that happened, five to seven years in jail or a fine or both. So we're going to see how this two-tier system is going to work. Um, because, you know, she lied. And, and this is, I'll put it onto the right side. You guys should know, you know, like she, she, she paid cash to her prosecutor. That's, that's, you can't do that. Um, you know, she met with the Biden White House and also the January 6th committee, and she didn't disclose that to the judge. You can't be doing that. What were they doing there? Is it part of the agenda? We're going to find out. According to Doc Mingo, um, he had to say this on Twitter, by the way, and had to agree with him 10,000%. Number one, tax evasion. Number two, conspiracy. Number three, perjury and embezzlement. Number four, fraud. Number five, commingling of funds. And number six, adultery. When Fanny got caught with this, she ran to church right away. Why wasn't she going to church before? And what bothers me was that the church she went to, they praised her as if she's a saint. And that's the issue in this country. We praise bad people. And we defame good people. We got to change our thinking, you guys. And here's the, 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 the troubling part for me. According to Mr. Stevenson7336, I have so much respect for looking out that is how they look out for each other. Every black person should applaud her. That's how you look out. In other words, she's allowed to do crime because she's black. And black people should look away if they witness another black person committing crimes. Oh my gosh, man, that just gave me a headache. That is some backward thinking, and I hope black communities are not like this. Let me know in the comment section, because I, this is a really serious conversation I want to have, but I know that not all black communities are like this because we have two black street mothers in our household. So every holiday they visit us and we talk about a lot of stuff. This is like how they taught us. Crazy, right? I'm Vietnamese and I have two black mothers. I have many mothers. Hispanic, white, black, and Chinese. And every holiday season, they visit us. So come carefully. But let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Things are getting crazy because we talk about Fanny already. And now I'm going to talk about Letitia. Letitia. She said that she never ran her campaign based on Trump. But this video say otherwise. The President of the United States has complained that I'm engaging in some sort of political witch hunt, that I've got some personal vendetta against him, that I campaigned against him. That is not true. This illegitimate president who sits in the White House. That president, because he's not my president, he's an illegitimate president. His days are numbered. His days are numbered. Yeah. We've got to get ready to mobilize. And we've got to get ready to agitate and irritate until victory is won, but more importantly, until Trump is defeated. We will all rise up and resist this man. And ultimately, we'll bring him down. This illegitimate president, I'm going to give you the same level of respect that you gave to President Obama, and that is absolutely no respect at all. Donald Trump has got to go. Hey, hey. That is not true. More lies. So on February 17, 2024, after they threw the hammer at Donald Trump for $355 million, she tweeted this. So how's everybody feeling today? 
And then came Jack Smith. Jack Smith said this, you nailed the assignment, nicely done. What did Jack Smith means by that? What, what, what is the assignment? You see, when you, when you give a shovel to corruption, they tend to bury themselves with the truth. The truth will prevail soon. You see. And then I, I keep on questioning that. What is the assignment? Is it to bankrupt Donald Trump so he doesn't have funding for his presidential campaign? Was the assignment to put him in jail so that way he could not be the next president of the United States? What is this assignment that Jack Smith is talking about? Crazy. And then again, you guys, more tweets from our uh, corrupt attorney general from New York, Letitia James. On February 23rd, 2024, she tweeted this. Friday feeling, no one is above the law. Then again, now the numbers game. 464,576,230 dollars and 62 cents. Tell me again, this is not attacking your political opponent. Tell me again. Then again, the next day, plus $114,553.04 equal to $464,805,336.70. Tell me again, this is not attacking a political opponent. I'll wait. Let me know in the comment section. It, 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 it puzzled my mind that so many people think that this is okay. This is 100% a political attack on a presidential candidate. So if you're new to this corrupt AG Letitia James and Judge Engron, I made a video about them. Watch that. But I'll, 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 I'll give you a quick recap. Somehow they came up with a valuation for Mar a Lago, 18 million. And it puzzled my mind because any person can see this beautiful resort. It, it, according to my valuation, it should come close to one billion. That is a lot of money versus what these corrupted politicians are doing. But check this out. I told you in my last video, more people are waking up because Patrick Bed David tweeted this. And this is a good one, by the way. Hmm, what did he say? 43 years ago, New York Times wrote an article reporting a property called Mar-a-Lago was for sale for $20 million. This is 43 years ago. If you guys know an inch about real estate, property tends to go up, 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 up. Especially, it's a beautiful resort. It doesn't go down. I wonder what it's worth now. Probably around $18 million. Major sarcasm by PBD, and I strongly recommend you guys go to his podcast. Uh, you know, he have it every Tuesday and Thursday. Wonderful podcast, uh, unbiased. Everyone have their own views, and you get to decide which one that you gravitate towards. I love PBD. My goal is very simple: one day get to interview him on my podcast, but that's not anytime soon because your boy is still growing his channel. So comment, subscribe, like, and share so that way I can. You know, make my dream come true. <laughs> Back to what I was saying. Crazy guy. Crazy, you guys. 18 million. And 43 years ago, the valuation was 20 million already. You guys, what I'm telling you, I'm telling you guys. Tell me again, this is not an attack against a political opponent. I'm not done yet, you guys. I'm just getting started. Let me show you guys this. And this really bothers me. It's from The Daily Show. They call it. Coachella, not Coachella, Coachella, dating all of Donald Trump's court dates, and they call it the crime tour. Tell me again, this is not a, an attack against a political opponent. Tell me again. I'll leave you with, with quick fact um, about Letitia James and uh, Fannie Willis. They are both backed by the Soros. When you hear the Soros, if that doesn't alarm you, 
then you are not doing your research. You're not doing your due diligence. And it's unfortunate that people don't want to see the ugly side of the truth. They rather watch and let the political agenda destroy Donald Trump. The real evils, the Soros, the deep states. DEI. You better wake up because the next time they could be coming for you. It, it, it bothers me because I can clearly see it. If I can see it and I was once upon a time a Biden supporter. If I can see this, you are much smarter than me, villagers. Wake up. Wake up. We got to wake up because it's not too late. Before you go, if you learn a thing or two, please like the video, comment and subscribe. Um, by doing this, it really helped my channel grow. And lastly, I appreciate you. I love you. And please take care of your health.